Hi friends, welcome to Varlakshmi's Physics Classes. In this video, we are discussing the neat previously asked questions from motion in a straight line. Let us see the first question. The velocity of a train increases uniformly from 20 km per hour to 60 km per hour in 4 hours. The distance travelled by the train during this period is. So given that initial velocity is 20 km per hour. And here it is final velocity is 60 km per hour and the time taken is 4 hours. What is the distance travelled? Consider the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as. Here we have to find first a. For that consider acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon unit time. So a is equal to v is 60 minus u value is 20 upon time is 4 so here 60 minus 20 is 40 upon 4 10 so the acceleration is 10 meter per second square now substitute here we have to find the distance here so s is equal to v square minus u square upon 2a now substitute the given values v square means 60 square minus u square is 20 square upon 2 into value of acceleration is 10 so which is equal to 60 square 3600 minus 20 20 is a 400 upon 2 into 10 which is equal to subtract here 3200 upon 2 into 10 and 1 0 1 0 will cancel 2 will get cancelled here 160 times so the value of s is equal to 160 kilometers let us check the options see here a is the correct option and this question is asked in the year 1994 let us see the next question if a car at rest accelerates uniformly to a speed of 144 km per hour in 20 seconds it covers a distance of so initial velocity of the car is given 0 and final velocity v is equal to 144 km per hour and it covers a distance of what is the distance covered by the car we have to find out and the time is 20 seconds. So time is given in seconds but here the velocity is given in km per hour so we have to change 144 into 5 by 18 so it will change this into meter per second. So which is equal to 18 1 jar and 18 8 jar. 18 to 5 is 40 meter per second. So the value of V as 40 meter per second and the time is given as 20. So now substitute the values V square minus U square is equal to 2 A S. So here we have to find the A value. Let us see here acceleration is equal to V minus U by T. A is equal to here V value is 40 minus U value is 0 upon T value is given as 20. So it will get cancelled 2 times. So A value is 2 meter per second square. Now substitute here in this equation S is equal to we have to find the distance covered by the car. So S is equal to V square minus U square upon 2A which is equal to V square is here it is. 40 square minus 0 upon 2 into here the value is 2. 4 4 is 16. 2 into 2. 4 times. So which is equal to 400 meters. So the value of S is 400 meters. D is the correct option. This question is asked in the year 1997. Let's see the next question. See so here a car accelerates from rest at a constant rate alpha for some time after it decelerates at a constant rate of beta and comes to rest. If the total time elapsed is t, then maximum velocity acquired by the car. So velocity we have to find out. Here we have to consider the two cases, case 1 and case 2. In the first case, the car is in acceleration and 
in the second case it was decelerating so first initially from rest so initial velocity of the car is zero at a constant rate of acceleration is alpha for some time after which it decelerates in the second equation acceleration is minus beta because it is decelerating from rest come and finally it comes to rest so velocity is zero but already it was moving with some initial velocity let it be as v so we have to find what is the maximum velocity acquired by the car so here also a car is accelerates from rest at a constant rate of alpha for some time so final velocity here in this case is v so total time taken in the both the cases is 2 let it be time taken for case 1 is t1 and here for time taken for case 2 as t2 let us find the value of velocity okay for that for case 1 consider acceleration is equal to v minus u by t here acceleration is alpha v s v minus initial velocity is 0 upon t we are considering as t1 so from here t1 is equal to v by alpha 1 so time taken here acceleration is equal to v minus u by t same here acceleration is minus beta which is equal to v value is 0 minus u is v upon t is t2 so here t2 is equal to v by beta now total time taken is total time taken t is equal to t1 plus t2 so which is equal to t1 value as here we got v by alpha plus t2 value as here we got v upon beta so now take v as common here 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon beta take the lcm t is equal to v into beta plus alpha upon alpha beta so which is equal to the value of v is alpha beta t upon alpha plus beta this is the value we got for velocity let's check the options see this is the correct option and this question is asked in the year 1994 Let us see the next question. Here, a car is moving with a speed of forty kilometer per hour. Can be stopped by applying brakes after a, at least two meters. If the same car is moving with a speed of eighty kilometer per hour, what is the minimum stopping distance? Here we have to consider case one and case two here. So in the case one, car is moving with a speed forty kilometer per hour. So initially it was moving with Forty kilometer per hour can be stopped by applying brakes. So final velocity will be zero, and it, uh, di it the distance travelled by the car is two meters. And in the if the same car is moving with a speed of eighty kilometer, this is the second case. So same car is moving with eighty kilometer per hour. What is the minimum stopping distance? So distance we have to find. After applying a brakes, it's it will it will comes to zero. So final velocity becomes zero. Here distance is given in meters. The velocity is given in kilometer per hour. So we have to change this. So forty into five by eighteen meter per second. Here nine two zer and twenty two zer. Twenty into five. Hundred upon nine meter per second. This is the initial velocity we got here. Here also change the velocity. Eighty into five by eighteen meter per second. So which is equal to nine two zero and forty two zero. Here two hundred upon nine meter per second. So in this case. Value is like this. Now find the value of y. 
so acceleration v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s from this a is equal to v square minus u square upon 2 s which is equal to v square is 0 minus u square is here 100 upon 9 whole square upon 2 into value of s is 2 ok here a is equal to 100 square upon 9 means 10 power 4 upon 81 into here it is 2 twos are 4 meter per second square this is the acceleration value we got let us consider the same equation here v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s here we have to find the distance value. So S is equal to V square minus U square upon 2A. So S is equal to V square. Here V is 0 minus U square is 200 upon 9 whole square upon 2 into the value of A here we got. Because if the same car is moving that is why we are considering value of a here 10 power 4 upon 81 into 4 ok now simplify this here this becomes s is equal to sorry here the minus value is there so here it is also minus value will be there here negative sign negative sign will get cancelled and see here 40,000 upon 81 all divided by here 2 will get cancelled here in 2 times so this will be 10 power 4 upon 81 into 2 ok this I am writing s is equal to 4 into 10 power 4 upon 81 all divided by here it is 10 power 4 upon 81 into 2 ok see here 10 power 4 and 10 power 4 will get cancelled 81 and 81 will get cancelled here 4 into 2 so s is equal to 8 4 2 is 8 8 meters so let us check the options here see c is the correct option and this question is asked in the year 1998. I hope you understand. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.